So team, today we're going to be talking about creative block. Um, it's a term that a creative at some stage has made up. Maybe not a creative, it could be anybody else. But we're going to be talking about is it real, um, which I believe it is. Um, but what can we do to counteract that creative block? Um, are there things that we could be doing as individuals to help ourselves be more effective, um, more productive? That's it, more productive. That will probably have to speed that bit up yeah, while yeah, I'm chap, chap, chapping like a little crab. <laughs> Personally, don't suffer with creative block. Um, obviously, there are days where I'm more on it than other days, but I put that down just to being human. Um, but I also believe it's down to my habits and my routines, which I'm going to be talking you through today. Um, I believe, or truly, truly, truly believe, that if you have a set of good habits and a rock solid routine, your brain will always know what it's supposed to be doing at any particular time of the day. So let's run through it. I'll be dropping some tips, some value, some knowledge along the way. So let's do it. So just to give you like a super quick overview of my day, um, wake up early, uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll read, um, then what I'll do is I'll walk my dog, then I'll make coffee, then at about eight o'clock I'll start the working day in the office, that is my client time up until about 6 p.m. You know, sometimes if I've gone through my list quick, I'll finish early. Sometimes if I've got a little bit more to do, I'll still finish at six. You know, it's all about setting that routine up. And then what happens after that? I've got the day to myself. Six till bedtime, getting a little bit older, so bedtime's coming earlier and earlier. But basically, that is my day. Mornings are mine, the day is my clients, the evenings are mine. Boom. So to give you a little bit of insight into the kind of books I read, these are some of the ones that are my go-to. Um, and as you can see, I don't think there is, yeah, not one actually official logo book. Um, um, I think that a lot of designers make the mistake of thinking that all you have to do is read logo books, but I, I don't think that's correct. Um, I like to kind of mix it up a bit, so I've got lots of illustration, um, lots of, that one's upside down, uh, but this is, yeah, a lot of type-based books, tattoo-based books, um, and then a lot of stuff um, based around mindset, habit forming, uh, business and all the rest of it. I mean, I used to be shockingly bad, well, I'm still pretty shockingly bad at reading, um, but it's something that I'm really trying to get better at, so every morning for half an hour I'm reading and it is getting easier um, and I'm learning a lot so even if you think you're shit um, just just keep trying and you'll get better um, but yeah here are some of my books so I am now out with Bucky um, I've just finished reading for half an hour 40 minutes now I'm going to walk the dog for about half an hour, 40 minutes. Don't have my phone with me. I uh, usually have my wife with me, but she's working. Um, yeah, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying a bit of time for James before I have to give my time to my clients. So here we go. So, finished walking a dog, now got on, made myself a coffee. Um, you know, and what you can start to 
see happening here is these habits forming. So the habit of reading has led me into the habit of going for a walk with my dog and has then led me onto the habit of making coffee. And then this habit makes me realize that I'm just about to go to work. So now it's my client time. So 8 a.m. Um, this is this is my client's time from now until 6 p.m. I am fully focused on creating stuff for my clients uh, and sometimes myself. Um, but that kind of few hours in the morning has allowed me to do a few things. It's allowed me to wake up slowly, feel relaxed, um, pretty energized, and you know just. Just having that couple of hours in the morning to myself is, is fantastic. But what it allows me to do is fully focus now. My mind is switched on, ready to rock. So the first thing I do when I get settled down in my chair in front of my computer, switch the bad boy on, is I start making lists. Um, I say, I say lists, I make one list, the list I need to achieve for that day. On that I'll have um, reply to emails, I'll have X project, do this project, maybe do some Instagram content, maybe do this, maybe do that, but it's a list of things I really want to achieve in that day, but I'm still going to finish at 6, so even if that list is not finished by 6pm, I still stop and I will just continue it on to the next day. But on the bright side, if I do finish that list early, say at 4 p.m., 4.30, I'll finish. I'll see that as a winning day and I'll have an extra hour and a half to bug around and, I don't know, climb a tree or something. So another little tip um, I'm going to drop for you is I don't open my email client until about 10 a.m. Um, this has massively helped with my productivity. Um, I'm a really early riser, obviously, as you know, um, and I'm super productive in the morning. I reckon my most productive hours are probably between 8 and 12. So what I don't want to do is interrupt those hours by the constant ding, 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 ding. I mean, we've all been there. So phones on silent, email clients off, and I just get straight into work. So for you, if you're more productive between four and eight, for example, turn your phone on silent, turn it off, and allow yourself to be as productive as possible during your productive hours. So another thing to bear in mind, um, which I think sometimes we actually trip ourselves up a little bit, and you know, is creative block actually us just being human? Um, you know, as humans, we have days where we're up. You know, you think of like your favourite sports person, um, your favourite footballer, tennis player, or whatever it is. You know, they have days where they're up, brilliant days where they're okay, days where they're not so good. Um, and I think it's the same for creatives, you know. We have, we can have all the best routines, put all the right practices in, sleep well, eat well, do all of that jazz, but sometimes we're just not on it. And I, I think that is just down to being human. So I don't think we should ever, you know, put too much emphasis on, oh, I've got creative block, I can't do this, I can't do that. Sometimes we're human and we've got to remember that we're human and it's best just to kind of realize that, understand it, embrace it and know tomorrow will be better. So do that, I think. Do that, do that, probably. I'll throw some darts. I think I'm done. This is scary man. <laughs> I was just about to throw this one at your face. <laughs> Imagine that. So it is quarter to six, um, but I finished my list and I'm going to stop, I'm going to finish, it's Friday, um, but one thing I always do um, when I finish every single working day is I tidy my office. Um, the reason I do this is so when I come in to work in the office the next time round, Tidy office, tidy mind. I'm not looking at dirty cups, empty bottles, pencils everywhere. 
chair in the wrong place, headphones not done properly. Um, yeah, and just basically, I know that if I do this now, I'll spend five, 10 minutes doing it, um, by the time I come in on Monday or if I pop in on Sunday to mess around on an Instagram post or something, um, I know it's super clean, ready to go. I don't have to stress about all the clutter. So um, let's get done, it done. Let's do the stuff. Let's tidy it up. Let's tidy up. Let's tidy up now. Yeah, let's tidy up. So, um, 6 p.m. Friday, I have my beer, um, and I think this is a this is a very good time to a reflect on the week, but also bring up one more very important thing. Um, which is rife in our industry as creators, or any industry really, um, and that is the um, subject of burnout. You know, burnout is not a trophy. You know, when somebody says they've been working 14, 20 hour days, I just think, stop being an idiot. Um, I understand that we have uh, times in our careers where we're busier, um, so we have peak times and we have quieter times, but I often think that the reason we burn out um, or people do burn out is because we're doing too much. Um, it could be a client setting unrealistic timelines that we say yes to, but you've got to remember that we have a choice to say no. Um, you're much better off doing, you know, not breaking your back and breaking yourself to hit that one deadline that will allow you to be able to achieve all the other deadlines you've got. Um, you know, what, what do we call it, Timmy? We call it... Don't deadline yourself. Don't deadline yourself. You know, I think that's such a... I mean, as creators, we are people pleasers. We want to make people happy. We love doing what we do. We probably, you know, get given some unrealistic targets that we say yes to. Um, we have to learn to say no. We have to look after ourselves. Yeah, the only way you're gonna have longevity in the industry is if you set yourself up a decent routine, you're very mindful of what you're capable of, what you can achieve during a day, and having other people move those barriers and set those targets for you is a very slippery, slippery slope to, um, to burn out. So always bear that in mind, be in control of the process. Have a great weekend. Cheers. Cheers from me. Cheers, Timmy. Cheers to you. Cheers. And um, we'll catch you on the next episode. Hey, Siri. Lights off. Okay, the lights are off.